Hi, everybody. Welcome to another Chats with Children. I hope you're safe and well. Today, I'm delighted to be joined by Matthias Lubert, who is an engineer and business development manager at Canal. And today, we're going to be talking about the systems you need to produce lipid part uh, nanoparticles. My apologies. So, Matthias, lovely to meet you. How are you? Yeah, thank you. It's my pleasure talking to you. And uh, I feel great um, showing what we do here. Fantastic. And whereabouts are you based? Um, so Knauer um, is a company founded in 1962 by Herbert and Roswitha Knauer. It's a family company, medium sized in Berlin, Germany. We are almost 150 employees, um, right. very family friendly company. And what we do is mainly liquid chromatography. Okay, right. this is not liquid chromatography here, but liquid chromatography includes instrumentation that is also widely used for reaction engineering, for liquid handling and so on. So this is our background. And personally, myself, um, I'm a process engineer working for Knauer uh, for almost uh, 16 years now. And with this background, I was asked whether I could do this project and design such systems. Well, that must be very exciting for you, actually, because it's such a hot topic. Um, so let's first of all ask a very basic question. What are lipid nanoparticles and why are they so much in the news at the moment? Yeah, so lipid nanoparticles, uh, they are all uh, so mentioned just in their short form LNPs. Um, those are nanoparticles with an outer shell of lipid molecules. And these nanoparticles are used as a novel drug delivery systems. And the reason why they have become so popular is their capability of to encapsulate RNA and deliver it to the target cells in the human body. And this right. technique is used for several of the COVID-19 vaccines. Right. So, yeah, so obviously very, very important then. So when you're looking at uh, producing pharmaceutical lipid and nanoparticles, what are the main challenges then that people face? It's new. So the technology, the technology on the laboratory scale has been done for a while, but it's new on the production scale. Right. A new production scale means there is no system you can buy off the shelf. Um, so while there is high urgency in producing things, uh, there is also the phase of designing these systems. And um, so we need time to design, but there is no time because uh, we have to produce. This is really um, the main challenge. Right. OK. And so if you are having to produce these things so quickly, um, how can you make sure that they are actually working perfectly? So it's, um, it's, it's many, many steps um, at the same time. So now we have the first system that are in production. We are supporting them. The next generation is uh, in manufacturing and we are already planning um, the, 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 the third generation. Uh, so it's really, it's, it's a continuous process. Um, the, uh, this quality can only be achieved. We are very, very close in collaboration with the customer. So that's right. really discussions on a daily basis. Um, it means we need extremely flexible and fast operations. Right. And obviously, you want to look to move to large scale production. So what systems requirements are needed to move from a small scale production to scale it up to a large scale production? Yeah, that, so we, we do have a, a strength with uh, the capability of building customized systems with a long experience and uh, production manufacturing really being located here in Berlin. We have the whole team at, uh, in one building. Um, so it means we can be fast and in high quality. And um, yeah, moving to larger production is difficult because this is not scalable. So what you do in lab scale, you cannot just uh, blow up for a production scale as the particles would look completely look different. Right. So uh, what we do instead is parallelization. But parallelization means doesn't mean we took uh, we take 20 systems or 10 or five, what, how many they use, and just stack them. Because we have a production chain. And the production chain means we have a centralized throughput. Uh, all the systems need to be uh, controlled. They need to be integrated, synchronized. And this is what we have to ensure that really all these parallel things are well controlled and perfectly in synchronization. Right. OK, so then how do you overcome those problems then? Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of extra work, actually, uh, with, with uh, um, everyone working in this field, of course. 
And but it's the close collaboration with the customer. And really, we do have a dedicated, highly motivated team, including all relevant departments from R&D, uh, product management, production, procurement, really everyone works together. And so we really have no delay in this decisions and in production. Right. OK. And obviously, how do you feel now that you obviously you're contributing so much now to helping in this worldwide fight against COVID-19? It's, uh, it's a proudness. So I'm really proud that I can be part of, the, of this big movement against um, the pandemic, which is the same for all the colleagues. On the other hand, also, it's a high burden. Everyone is waiting for the vaccine. And I know that each day uh, there is a delay in, in, in each step means a delay um, in production. Um, so I'm really looking forward to, to seeing production being scaled up to a level that everyone has access to the vaccine and there is no more shortage. Yeah, well, well said. So if people would like to know more about the process, where can they get more information? Yeah, um, we do have um, launched a dedicated um, area on the website. Um, so it's actually in launch. Uh, and there we have all relevant info on our systems, on the capabilities, and also the contact persons uh, that are available for personal discussion. Um, so, yeah, look on the, on the website and all the info is available there. All right, great. I'll put the link above the video when it goes live. Um, well, that's what we've got time for today. So all I want to say is thank you very much for taking time to talk to me. Um, as Mateus said, if you've got any questions, then you can check the link above the video, but also you can leave some comments below for Mateus himself. I'm sure he or part of the Canal team will be happy to answer any questions you have about the process as well. So all that's let me say is Mateus, thank you very much. I wish you, your family and your colleagues a fantastic 2021. Happy, successful and healthy, most importantly. Uh, so I wish you that and same to you all. So until next time. Yeah, uh, thank you for the talk. Thank you very much. Until next time, everybody, stay safe, stay well, stay positive. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.